Go to Customize, Vehicles, Attack Heli, Secondary, and Equip the Tow. Congrats! You've just taken your first steps to becoming a man. First thing you want to do now is open up Chest Range and, well, test out the tow on the Chest Range. Start by practicing your toes against ground and sea targets at different distances. This should be pretty simple. Once you start landing these toes almost every time, move on to targeting these UAVs. There are three of these that spawn on the test range, one in the middle, one on the left and one on the right. Start by hovering about 100 meters away from one of them and just shoot the toe. Watch how it dips down a little when you shoot it. Watch how it moves and watch where it goes. You'll probably miss your first few shots but that's alright. Don't worry about it, just try again. But before you try again, think. Think why you missed. Did the toe go under the UAV? Did it go over it? Think. Find the problem and fix it. Adjust your aim before shooting and try to lead your shots, rather than just aiming straight at the target. The guided toe missile is a guided missile. That means you can guide where it goes in real time. So, if you see that the toe is below the target, move it up by pulling up. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, you guide the toe missile with your nose. So if you pull your nose up, the toe will go up, and if you move your nose down, the toe will go down, and so on. Your main objective should be to keep the toe as close as possible to the target to maximize your chances of hitting it. Once you start hitting these shots consistently, move on to trying to hit them from below and above the UAV. This won't be all that difficult, but it will start getting you used to hitting toes when moving. While you're in the test range, also practice close range and long range shots, but these will be quite difficult for you if you're just starting. All you need to worry about are medium range shots, because once you get into real games, these are the shots that you will most likely be taking. Once you are in the real game, start by practicing your toes on transport helicopters. These things have massive hitboxes, which extend to their rotors, making them very easy to hit with toes, especially from above. If you followed the previous steps, this won't be too difficult and you should start hitting transports very consistently in no time. You should also try going after attack alleys with toes, but don't be put off if you end up missing all your shots. It just means that you're Attack helis will be a lot harder to hit than transports because of the highly decreased hitbox size and the fact that they're also far more maneuverable. So the best time to target them is when they aren't paying attention to you and are showing you their side, giving you a large and predictable target. But they're also far more maneuverable. So if they do see you, they'll probably dodge your toe. But sometimes, they won't. This is your opportunity. Take it. Compose yourself. Breathe. It's easy. Just keep the toe close to the- Intermediate players generally have more time in the air than beginner players and are able to consistently hit simple toe shots on enemy attack helis. At this level, you will have to start hitting toes when the enemy heli dodges. This means you will have to start looking closely at the heli, not just your toe. The best way to do this is by keeping your toe close to the target, making it easier to see them both. If you see the heli dodging your toe, you can then react to it. But this tactic only works against players that dodge early, giving you plenty of time to adjust your aim. These shots aren't too difficult to hit, but it will take you hours of practice to be consistent at them. But the chances are that the enemy will most likely do a last second dodge, where they will dodge at the last second. Anyway, this means that even if you track your toe all the way to the end, the enemy can still dodge it by dodging it at the last second. So to hit these shots, you will have to pre-adjust your aim by either predicting the dodge or by reading your enemy's movements. Most people will instinctively dodge down, so be ready to adjust that way. If you find that a pilot you are flying against has been dodging in a particular direction all the time, then pre-adjust your toe in that direction. But a good pilot will be very unpredictable, 
so these prediction shots won't work on them. This is where read shots come into play. Being able to read a player's movement comes with a lot of experience, which at the intermediate level you most likely won't be able to do. But generally, if you see the enemy nose down, expect them to move down. If you see them nose up, then expect them to move up, and so on. The nose of the heli will tell you a lot about the heli's movement, so pay a lot of attention to it. But with more experienced pilots, this won't necessarily be the case, so keep that in mind. So, you finally made it. You've got hundreds of hours in the attack heli. You're farming Shanghai all night long, hitting all your toes on tanks, transports and attack helis and no one can stop you. You're the king of the world. But then, you meet him, the level 140, with 2000 hours and 200,000 kills, and you just cannot kill him. Toe after toe, he dodges everything. So how do you kill him? Well, we use what I like to call a flick shot, because he kind of flick at the end. To do this shot, you basically keep the toe off target, and at the very last second, you pull it towards him. And hopefully, you hit the shot. Here's what it looks like from the enemy's POV. So yeah, if done right, the enemy won't even know what hit them. This works best by keeping the toe below the target, because the cockpit will help hide your toe. But it can work equally as well by keeping it above or to the side of the target, because most of the time, the enemy will think that you're going to miss the toe, so they won't even bother dodging. Obviously this shot is very hard to do because you need to know how far away your toe is from the enemy. This comes with a lot of practice, but I found that keeping an eye on your radar before shooting the toe can help a lot because it makes it easier to know how far away the hell he is from you. Sell your soul to the devil.